and we have got the uh, most decorated ice dancers perhaps ever, and they are celebrating uh, being honored by the Walk of Fame plaques going up in both their hometowns today. Scott Moyer and Tessa Virtue are both on the phone lines with us this morning. Uh, thank you so much for being on the program, both of you. It's, uh, it, it's great to have you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Uh, excited. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's a, it's, it's a great day. Uh, looking forward to uh, the ceremonies and whatnot later today. You both have received so many honors. Uh, you've you've won so many things. I know it's hard to rank this stuff, but where does the the Walk of Fame fit, and where does these plaques being up in your uh, respective hometowns fit? Well, well it's, it's big uh, for us. Um, it, it's pretty exciting because obviously Tess and I have had a long career together, so. Uh, it's a big day for us to celebrate, but it's all about celebrating our communities, and that's what we like about the uh, Walk of Fame plaques in our hometown, because these people have supported us since day one, and, uh, you know, I'm, I always speak uh, very proudly of being from Elderton, and, and it's because of the people, so we really want to uh, celebrate with Elderton, the Elderton Skating Club, and uh, as well with London and the community that supported us uh, as well, so it's, it's going to be really fun, and that's why we're excited to, to celebrate today just because uh, all that support we've gotten for so many years. Tessa, your plaque's going to be going up at, uh, at Museum London. The mayor's going to be there. There's going to be a whole lot of uh, other stuff that goes along with it. Uh, uh, what's that feeling like going to be like for you? I've been anticipating this for event uh, this event for, for some time. And the, the Walk of Fame in Toronto last December really snuck up on us. <laughs> it was right in the midst of this crazy whirlwind and We didn't really have time to reflect on the significance as it really related to our career, the scale of it, the magnitude. And, you know, when I look at the list of other inductees and and realize just what an esteemed honor it is, it's humbling. And it's so thrilling to share this um, with my hometown of London. I mean, it's where it all began. It's the school system that um, empowered me to dream dream big. It's, you know, the arenas, the local community members who inspired me to, to pursue my goals. And um, home is always with me. And it doesn't matter where, whether I'm skating in London or I'm um, performing abroad. London is with me. And, and I'm just so grateful for all of the support. And I can't wait to celebrate with everyone today. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a, a fantastic event for all involved. Do uh, either of you, and I'll, I'll ask you this, Scott, do you kind of look around and think to yourself, you go from, you know, you, uh, multiple Olympic gold medals, uh, all this, uh, all these incredible honors for your career, and think to yourself, well, like, how did this all happen? Because you think to, that this goes back to, you know, just skating in Ilderton, and, and, and you get all the way here, and you're the, the the best to ever do it in all likelihood. Like, d- do you ever think to yourself, like, whoa, when you just stop and sit, like, this 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 got pretty nuts pretty fast? Well, the, the funny thing about being an athlete is you rarely do that in your career. And I think that's been happening to Tessa and I a little bit more uh, as we do some talks around the country or sh- and share our story, just, the, you know, how fortunate we were. A lot of things went went right for us. Uh, we worked really hard and, and you know, kind of made the, the chances go in our favor. But at the same time, like, we grew up together. Uh, we always had the same goals. We always were very, uh, you know, goal-oriented and we always wanted to win and, uh, that drove us. Uh, we are very, very rarely not on the same page, and more so now. I'm thinking, wow, that's that's pretty impressive uh, for us to over 22 years. It's, it's a really cool relationship, and that's another reason why we're excited to celebrate today. I mean, uh, it's it's kind of crazy that we have. I mean, Illerton and London, and it's probably me because I've been talking so much about Illerton that they felt like I had to do two separate stars, but. I mean, it's it's really both of our stars in both cities. Uh, we both grew up in this neighborhood, in this in this uh, community, and got the support from both. So I think more so that I don't know if we really look back and think, you know, the Olympic Games is something we've working for, we had been working for our whole lives, and uh, is the goal of our sport. So uh, that's that's a bit more obvious. But I we never sat at home and thought, man, we got to make the Walk of Fame. All these things kind of pop up, and and we still honestly think I, I can't believe people care about us or know that we're skating. <laughs> Yeah, people uh, people really knew. It was uh, yeah. You may have uh, heard about this when you were uh, overseas at the Olympics last year, but it was a pretty big deal when you guys skated. <laughs> uh, That's what they say. Yeah, so they say. Uh, Tessa, uh, what what's post competition like uh, like for you two right now? 
Well, we're deep into the planning stages of our Rock the Ring tour, which will cross Canada um, this coming fall, October, November. And we're so excited to follow up the Thank You Canada tour from last year. You know, that had momentum, and we were um, fresh off of the Olympic Games with the gold medal winning team. And now we have to... Now we have to do something bigger, better, more engaging, more entertaining. And as you know, uh, we love challenges. So that's taking up a lot of our time and, and also working with several different organizations, um, different companies. It's been uh, really nice to, to challenge myself, um, both academically and in a business setting as well. Yeah. Who's going to be involved in the Thank You Canada Tour this time? Is that, is that a spoiler? Are we not allowed to talk about that? Or what's the situation there? Oh, we have a lot of exciting people. Um, obviously, we're bringing back uh, Canadian skating greats like Elvis Stoiko and Patrick Chan and Caitlin Osmond. But um, we wanted to bring over some of our favorite skaters internationally. And uh, one of those was Carolina Cosner, who's arguably one of the best female skaters of all time, just as a glide of the blade that is unparalleled. And then uh, we're bringing over as well some uh, some other big pair scenes and things that we'll be announcing very soon. It's, it's very exciting stuff. Yeah, I know it. Uh, it sounds fantastic, and you've you've both mentioned it so many times. But I, I I have to ask about the way that this country has embraced your skating. Not just London and and that's where it started, but the entire nation embracing your skating. Uh, the the moment of the Olympic Games for for me watching it last year was uh, uh, when you saw the scores come in, Scott, and you stand up and you you slap the uh, divider or whatever it was in front of you. I I think that a lot of people did something pretty similar in their living rooms. Like it was uh, it was pretty incredible. Uh, what what what's it been like, sort of knowing that? You You've got these millions of people behind you both as you go through these incredible competitions and you, and, and you work as hard as you have to achieve the success you've had. Uh, it's, tough to, it's tough to put into words, to be honest. It's uh, the most amazing feeling. Uh, we've, it's going to be an emotional day, I think. And it's just to have the support of Canadians, as you said, across the country, um, it's just, I think, it's the reason why we wanted to be Canadian Olympians and, and why the Canadian Olympic team is so strong. Canadians just seem to cling to the Olympics and really support it. And it's been uh, probably the couple best moments of our lives uh, representing our country and to receive that support. I always think back to coming home from the 2014 Games when uh, we wanted so badly to, to win again and, and bring home another gold for Canada. And we brought home a silver and thought that we had disappointed and uh, came to the airport and just all the warm wishes and, uh, you know, some even feisty fans that thought we should have won uh, just in our corner the whole time. And, and that was such a, a, a lovely moment for us. And I think that really turned it as we went into 2018 because all of a sudden we weren't worried about disappointing them. We knew that they were in our corner and we felt like we couldn't lose. We, we had this army of Canadian uh, Olympic fans behind us and, and that really propelled us forward. Yeah, there were a lot of people that thought you should have won. I remember that being a big thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, last thing, I'll, I'll ask uh, each of you this before we go. Uh, Tess, I'll ask you first. Uh, is there anyone specific you're going to be thinking of as, uh, as the plaque gets unveiled and, the, and everything happens surrounding uh, the event today? Well, I've been reflecting on just all of the, the Londoners who have impacted my life and my career and, and how much a part of this city um, is, is in me and um, you know there are even some public school teachers that sent me cards years after I graduated from from um, public school and high school that sent me cards after every competition and those are the people that that made a difference my first costume designer um, of course my family and, and close friends um, each and every one who has um, been part of this this journey, this wild roller coaster. Um, you know, I'm thinking about everyone today. Scott, what about you? Yeah, that's a tough question. Narrow down to one. Um, as I talked about, it's going to be special to celebrate this together. Uh, it's just fun to kind of go down memory lane, I guess. But uh, I think back to my first coach, uh, Tessa and I's first coach, Carol Moyer, and all the work she's still doing at the Olympic League, getting skaters going and. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be nice and emotional this afternoon. Well, uh, before we go, uh, I just want to thank you both for uh, the uh, the hours of uh, of entertainment you provided for all of us, and, uh, and and the great moments we've had cheering for you both to uh, uh, to continue to bring the success that you've had. Uh, thank you so much for that uh, on behalf of a nation, in behalf of uh, the communities of, of London and Nilderton. I'm really looking forward to today. I hope you both have a fantastic day, and thank you very much for talking with us today. 
Thanks Craig, so thanks so much. much. Really appreciate on. it. Yeah, that was uh, that was great. Both, uh, thank you so much. We'll uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, have a great day. Take care. Okay, take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye.